What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for November. The year is flying by and the holidays are coming right up. And this is a series where we show off some of the best tech you can buy under that price point. If you see anything you like, I will have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And first off is something pretty cool for gamers out there. This is a two foot pedal and it actually lets you, you know, tie inputs into your game. So ignoring the basic things like having this be a gas and a brake pedal in like a racing game, these are often picked up and used for like leaning in game. So for example, in like PUBG or pretty much any kind of first person shooter out there where you usually use Q and E to lean, now you can just do it with the foot pedals and never take your main fingers off WASD. It triggers immediately too, so once you press down with your foot, the input will be recognized in game. And as for the design, it's a very simple layout. You just have obviously your one pedal for each foot. And as you'll hear, it's nice and tactile, so you'll know when you're actually pressing down. The software is also really easy to configure once you get it downloaded. You can change each of the pedals to be a different key press. You can change it up for like having long presses or intermediate presses. Even add modifiers, you can change it to be something like a mouse click. Set macros. <laughs> the software actually gives you a lot of possibilities that you can tie these two buttons to. So now you can put your feet to use and have those two extra input controls. And obviously it's not limited to just gaming. You can use it for like Photoshop if you want to like undo or erase your previous step. You get the idea. A pretty cool pickup. I got it for $35 when I just checked it was on sale for 40 So I think gamers out there could definitely uh, appreciate this. Next is the new version of the Amazon Echo Dot. It actually makes some pretty good improvements. This is the 2018 third generation. You can pick it up in their charcoal, gray, or sandstone like I have. And I'm sure you're familiar with the Echo Dots by now. Very affordable at 49 bucks. And it is a little bit bigger than last year's generation, but for a good reason. First up for the speaker, instead of it firing upward like last year's, it is now throughout the entire device on the side. So you can see that kind of like mesh fabric here. And not only does that make it look nice and more modern, but it's also 70% louder now than the second generation. Up top you have your four controls with the plus and minus for your volume buttons, a button to manually trigger Alexa, and then the mute button. So if you own the last generation, it's not necessary to upgrade, but if you're someone who streams and listens to a lot of music with this, then you'll definitely appreciate that 70% volume boost. And also if you haven't, you know, owned one before, you never bought one, I think now is definitely the time with the third generation. And also be a pretty good, I think, a uh, little gift for the holidays if someone doesn't have one of these. A good little pickup for $50. Next for the always popular audio gadget on the episode, this is the One Me Bluetooth Extender. And it's actually one of Amazon's top rated Bluetooth devices. And now yes, while this little guy looks like a mini router, what it does is pretty much extends your Bluetooth range, kind of like how there are those Wi-Fi extenders out there. This likes to extend your Bluetooth up to 230 feet. So you often use Bluetooth speakers from a source or maybe you like Bluetooth headphones and you're walking throughout the house and it starts to cut out, this will definitely extend that. And what's great is, is that it's a transmitter and a receiver. So your options are really open. Hook up to a speaker, a PC, your TV. It also features APTX low latency, so there's gonna be no delay between what you're watching and then what you're listening to. Inside the box, it also includes all the cables you're gonna need to get it up and running and connecting to your sources. And on the back, you have your 3.5 millimeter out, your optical out, your DC in to power, your optical in for the TV, and a 3.5 millimeter in from the TV. And you also have some buttons on the front, like your Bluetooth button, if you wanna manually press that down to pair it. You have your optical and aux kind of button to switch between the ports, plus a uh, volume down and volume up button, which also can change songs. So this is the kind of thing where you can hook it up in your room or your house and forget about it and now have extended Bluetooth range all throughout the house. For $45, if you have a lot of Bluetooth devices in your house and you use a lot of that for your connectivity, you might want to pick this up to extend the range. Next is a recent pickup, and that's the Anchor PowerCore Fusion 5000. It is a wall adapter for plugging in and charging your devices, but also a battery bank for on the go. And with the name being 5000, that means you obviously have 5000 milliamp hours built in. That'll definitely give you at least a full charge on most recent phones. So they do come in three different colors, red, white, and black. It also has the Power IQ technology, so it's going to charge your phone the fastest that it's capable of. It's nice and compact, and I just like how it's versatile for both, you know, charging your phone at home, then while you're going out, you can just, you know, unplug it and use it as a battery bank on the go. Definitely an ideal gadget for like a day trip or something like that. You can pick these up for $25. Then lastly, for all you MacBook users out there, is a Kickstarter for the dock case. I've been using it recently and I love it. This is essentially a dock for your power brick. You plug it in, it connects, and now it gives you tons of extra ports on your actual charger instead of having you to carry around things like, you know, extra dongles and docks that you plug into the side of your laptop. I think it's a really cool idea, and they have a few different models for their Kickstarter. This one here has two USB 3.0s plus an HDMI. And then below the dock case logo, obviously, is going to be a USB-C port, which is going to let you connect it and sync everything to your laptop. 
I love little gadgets like this that is just practical and a really good idea. It eliminates any need for extra dongles and stuff because it's pretty much making like a whole extra hub right here on the power brick that you already have with you. And like I said before, this does sync data, so you can not only charge your phones, but plug in like flash drives or external hard drives, memory cards, all that stuff. So you can choose between different models on their Kickstarter to fit the device that you have, but for around like $30, I think they start at, definitely a pretty cool option. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under 50 for November. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the links in the description down below. I'll have everything we showed off today down there for you. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.